Hello. And welcome. Let's see what we can do today. We are working on a wardle and we have lots of stuff implemented. Uh, what else do we need? Do we need a win condition? Right? Or some kind of formation? Okay, so here we have this validate lang print win. So here we should handle that. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. We should probably just disable additional inputs so we should disconnect that uh, on keyboard retro so all of that should be disconnected uh, but how do we do it uh, we could just we don't need to disconnect this actually we just need to disable it and all of this is coming through the keyboard and we don't have a reference to that can we get reference to that we can okay that's not bad maybe we could do access as unique because that looks way better. Hi, Lover Toots. Happy to uh, catch you online. What are you working on? I'm working, hello Sebastian, I'm working on the next tutorial, uh, which is going to be a uh, Wordle. Uh, you know, that word game uh, done in Godot. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what I'm working on. I'm pretty pretty much at the close to the finishing line there are just some few things that i have to iron out like for example if we win so let me create a new function here on win and here we will create another function on lose then going back down here um, are you working on something yourself, Sebastian? Let's see, on win, uh, and for now we pass, and then on lose, and for now we pass, and then we can take the key keyboard and do access pressed. Um, can we just like disconnect let's see because I know you can connect go to signals using signals blah 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 is there something like this connect there's a connect function let's see search up signal okay yeah disconnect and you disconnect the call level okay perfect so we can just do we can just go to here not here um browse controller we can do disconnect and we have to pass the signal also i don't know why this isn't correctly auto completing but yeah we'll just disconnect from everything and disconnect uh, on backspace on keyboard backspace pressed 
and here's the reference then we'll do enter press disconnect uh, yeah great fun game yeah that's that's my aim at least for now to create some small fun uh, tutorials so that who can learn Godot along with me and then we'll see maybe um, I will do let's see maybe I will do a bigger course or maybe I will make my own game so far it has been going pretty good and the name is different or is it keyboard letter pressed okay that's the one how the Elden uh, Ring series going uh, I put a pause on this because I had some issues with the uh, Godot project uh, it got corrupted a little bit um, I will be trying my best to uh, restore it and to actually continue it uh, to the best of my ability uh, but I'm gonna put a pause um, on this especially given the fact that I have less time that I did before switching jobs uh, let's disable that uh, but yeah I would definitely like to continue because it's such a fun idea um, I know maybe maybe I will restart it actually because uh, what I would the assets that we use there are great but they're limited um, I would rather use uh, Synthesaur assets to build that because they have some cool like dark fantasy so it all would look better but uh, they're rather hard to integrate uh, out of the box with Godot but it, it can be done definitely but you will have to bring the animation separately but the wow effect is cool unfortunately these are as you can tell paid but they have they have starter pack where they have those basic uh, elements assets that you can bring and this looks way better and also synthesaur is way more popular uh, but i will have to yeah i like the smell tutorial approach too really yeah polygon rules like there are there are real full-fledged games uh built uh with with that you can just find them on steam right uh so we'll see definitely i would like to uh dive deeper into 3d tutorials um but we'll see i have like i have so many ideas for for tutorials i just don't have don't have time to uh, actually write those uh, that's uh, why I took a step back and go back to what I did before which are uh, smaller tutorials so let's see now that should disable the signals from the keyboard handler which means that if we guess the word correctly it okay and now yeah now we can't click anymore so this is perfect cool we should also test the losing but that should work the same and since this and this is pretty much the very same code let's create a helper helper function for that disable a keyboard signals or maybe you do not disable you disconnect that makes way more sense yeah it, you know it i would love to prepare like a big giant 40 hours tutorial about how to create something like Elden ring but uh since i'm not a youtuber uh for a full time i actually have a job as a software developer I just have to uh, to basically uh, work in increments 
you know, baby steps. That actually what what can give me a drive and don't don't actually make me go nuts with all of that YouTube. I would love to do that full time. I would love to teach game dev and programming full time, but I have to start small and work off of I can do, right? So this should disable everything that we need. And then, then going back to main, I should probably just add some kind of notification that you've won um, and and you guess the the name. It would be actually cool to get a random name to guess, but we are actually connecting to the API dictionary, but the chance to get a five letter word, but let me, let me see. Uh, we are using dictionary API to validate whether the input provided by the user is a word. But oops, let's see whether we can find some better API to get a random word. Get your app key. I don't want to do this. I want to use open API. Thank you. Thank you. It really means a lot. Um, it's, it's really great to hear that from uh, everybody. The channel has been growing uh, steadily and I'm very happy with that. I love Godot. Um, I love basically all the game engines that uh, I work with, like Unity and Unreal 2, but the open source, the, the size, uh, the fact of how fast Godot is, Right. Basically, if you're not going for hyper realistic, then there's no need to use stuff like like Unreal Engine, even though it's cool. And uh, uh, scripting blueprint language is, is really wonderful. So we are using this. And maybe they have more on a GitHub. It would be really great if we could just yeah, if we could just do, say, how many letters we would like, but there's no possibility of that right now. Maybe something else we could find. Basically, I need to get a random word and I could just uh, store an array of uh, words and that would be cool. Word dictionary. Let's see. Yeah, they all they all require app key, and I don't want people to actually use that. Okay, well, we'll work with a um, static array. Uh, in the that's gonna be the worst case. Um. Let's see, what do we need? We need some panel to display the information that, hey, you have won or you've lost. So let's see, we have a margin container. We could add like a center container. Uh, and then here we need a panel. Panel has to have a size. So let's do like 300 by 300. Um, we can override the team. New style box. And let's not go crazy, but let's do some corner radius. Let's add a border width of four. Okay, can we change the border color? Yes, we can. Let's do it. I know black. Oh, let's see how that looks. Mm hmm. Okay. What I would like to get actually 
is some kind of backdrop here. So what I could do is find and add correct and the panel and oh that does not look good let's move it to the bottom okay still not looking too good uh we should anchor it let's see this is taking all of the screen as it should align to center this should be aligned by the parent and this <laughs> I want this to cover the whole screen right so what do we do let's see theme nothing here we could use why can't I just make you take the whole screen? Is this too much to ask? Yeah, it's there, but it has to cover the whole screen. I could just... <laughs> I could just... Make it really, really big, right? But that's not the point. The point is to make it correct. Layout. This node is a child of container, correct. Okay, maybe if we just wrap it in a container and yes, you have a child. Now, uh, why this, is this still a problem? Unless a script configures its children placement behavior. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So let's change the type. Let's see what we could do. Another center container? It doesn't make sense. Mm. Marking container. Let's see. And now. No, I think it should be the other way around, right? Like, I should have a. Yeah, have this here. Make it take the whole screen and then make the center container here. Disable that okay make this take the whole yeah okay now now it works um then what we need is is hello cat if you're seeing me uh, we can talk about love and life and programming and game dev basically anything that you like Okay, so let's see how this works now. And if I disable it, I basically have to move it here to see it. It needs a little bit more of alpha. Be more prominent. Make we don't make it white, but just give it a little bit of a tint. Okay, this is cool. This is cool because we can base the rectangle color based off of uh, whether the user wins or not. And then what we need is a label. Mm. Basically, no, we need um, we need a horizontal container first. Uh, vertical container. Right. Oh, what is it? B box container. Right. And then we need it. 
what do we need? We need at the center. And then we need a label with some text like you have one in and of four moves. I do enter here. Uh, let's see out of wrap, clip text, ellipse character, uppercase, displayed. Okay, and then you have one in four moves, and then we will add it's like let's call this moves or maybe result label and at the top we'll add another label that will have the word that user was trying to guess and center and center and we'll call this agile and we will change the font color example to green okay um, and then we'll add a button to play again I'd like play again which will just reload the scene Okay, given all of that, oh, let's see, where do I want to put my script? I believe here, right? And don't call this color rec, but let's call this result screen. Results. Hello, Arnold. Nice to see you in the chat. How have you been? How are you today? Oh, what are you working on? How's your game dev passion is doing right now? Let's see, let's put this here as results UI. And I could basically save it and move it uh, as a separate separate branch, but no need really. Okay, so what do we need? We need, this is going to be the reference itself. Let's create a class name, results UI. And we will just make a function called show. Uh, we'll take has one as Boolean parameter. Make it pass for now. We will take the word to display as a string and we need no basically that's it or do we need even need a word no we need, we would like to present the word yeah chat how have you been what are you working on um now's your chance to if you'd like uh, ask me anything So we're working on a Wordle project. Oh, we cannot find Boolean in scope. That's gonna be our next tutorial. And I believe we are close to being done. The function signature. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's see, do show results because we don't want to override the method. Okay, so we have that done and we need some variables here so basically we could well, let's leave that we can export the colors right uh, export var um, win color so type of color and export var lose color to be a type of color Oh, uh, hello, Atticus. Uh, nice to see you in the chat. Yeah, we're working on a Wordle game in Godot, which is 
rather simple but powerful open source uh, engine. Uh, I'm making Wordle game that we all know and love where you have basically to guess the word in a few moves, right? For example, the word that we are currently guessing is agile, right? And then it confirms. Also, we're connecting this to external API. So if you try to type something that is not a word, um, you get the information that this is not a word. If you were ever interested in game development, I believe that Godot and my channel are good places to start. I show how to make simple games uh, in Godot engine, but people are using it to uh, build uh, very uh, financially successful uh, games that are on Steam. And this is just, you know, my hobby. I love programming. I'm a software developer by trade. Uh, let's see. So with that, we should be able to choose the um, loose color and wing color and uh, let me think we need to set the color for ourselves and that should be um, win color if has one else uh, loose color I believe you can type it like that but then I would like to add the alpha here. So can you just mix colors somehow? Uh, let's see. I would like to take that color and add an alpha. Um, let's see, we have probably we have color grass. And let's from What's from RTBE? Uh, from string. Okay. That could work, but then we need to add some alpha to it for the bug. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> if you like Wordle and you like Godot, then this live stream and um, the next tutorial I will be recording probably this week will be right up your alley. Or at least uh, I hope so. Because I will show you step by step how to do activities. Even if you have very little experience with, with Godot. And I believe this this is the best way to learn engine when i started learning game dev i had an idea of a great uh game that would take like years to finish and as i started i realized i don't know nothing about uh engine or creating games uh, so i bounced back to creating my first game that you can see on a channel right which is which is like what was the first thing that we've made i believe pong or snake something like that yeah i bounced back from trying to create cool platformer game in um in unity uh to making a snake game in godot so that's how we start okay let's see we need that color uh, and we need to add alpha to it. So basically we have to transform that color to string and then back and add alpha. So let's see. I will take wing color and I can turn it to HTML. What else I could do? SRGB to linear. Mm, that turns the color converted to the in uh, see also returns the color base. I just need to add alpha. 
that's that's like all I want to do. Uh, let's see, hex, get luminous, darkened. That's almost what I want. Like I need to change the opacity from string blend clamp. Hex. Perfect. Thank you, Articles. Take care. Is equal HTML is valid and this is RGBA string. Okay, so okay, this all makes sense, but we need to figure out what is what. So let's actually do um let's do func ready and let's print in color to HTML with alpha. Oh, okay. So you can pass with alpha here. Let's see what do we get in the output? So I'll do false. And then it has no alpha. Perfect. And then I can just add the alpha. So let's see. We need to find the hex codes for alpha. <laughs> I will guess the order of the day probably after the stream. Uh, let's see, a hex to alpha. There was something like this. Um, no, alpha four. Yeah, that's what we want. So currently we are like at the 40% of the alpha. Uh, so we can go and find this. And this is 66 at the end. Perfect. You can take this and say alpha value uh, or alpha hex code rather it's going to be 66. And then I can say um, let's do clear color and then we'll do a uh, color with alpha which is going to be color from no uh, clear color to html without alpha plus alpha hex code and then we need to turn it back to a uh, color. So does the color has a like constructor from, oh, we could do color from color with, with alpha as a float. That's even better. So we don't need that. So get rid of that and we'll do uh, color clear color alpha is gonna be point four then I can say color is equal to color with alpha and that should basically fix that so going back to oh and then we should basically show this right because it's hidden okay so results ui just go so okay we're we're not worried about the word right now oh let's put it all to white and basically we have to call this if we win or we lose so going back to our Rose, Rose controller, we need the reference to results UI. Let's grab this. Oh, and I really don't like this. Can we just maybe access as unique name? Now it's way better. Hello, Rodrigo. How are you today? Thanks for stopping by. 
Uh, how are you? What are you working on? How's the life in treating you? Let's see. And we have results UI. And on win, I can just call results UI. Show results uh, has one true. And then on lose results UI. Show results false. Perfect. And that should give us an ability to present the UI. See whether this is correct. And it's broken. I uh, expected two arguments. Well, we can change pass the word. Do we know it? I should have it stored. Uh, let's see. What are we storing right now? We're storing, we're storing the word to guess. So this might be fine. So let's just pass the word here. Yeah. Greetings from uh, Argentina. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's far away. Uh, yeah, it has been uh, a little bit, um, let's say, loud about Argentina lately with your new president. So, yeah, um, I saw him on the news a like, few weeks ago. Um, Thank you, thank you for the greetings. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, I am currently working on the Wordle and now it should work. So we go for Agile and we press enter and it gets verified. So this is cool, but the color is wrong. It should be, oh, this is the stupid me. Okay, so this is the win color and make it green a little bit darker and then the loose color uh let's go for red and make it a little bit darker perfect and now if we try this we should get that yeah this cool green color and we can uh test losing real quick oh i would have to uh what is the that says, oh, I have to clean this up and then let's try guess snake. The question is, should we allow to, oh, I have to figure out words now. Snake, um, bur, race. Oh, let's see whether I know enough words. Um, Okay, you know what? We we'll just trigger this. More than a quarter of the population in the purpose of I don't know how to Mizunis Mizunis has spoiled fruits. That's great. I didn't know that. Um I know that there I actually know that there are some Polish uh villages or communities uh in uh south uh, america i forgot about this the people uh, just migrated there uh during the the last century and have been living there since so yeah this is this is pretty pretty cool so yeah we have some connection yeah uh, i would love to to go and visit argentina someday uh, i've heard that it's really really beautiful uh so maybe uh, one day uh, are there uh, any places that you would recommend for me to visit? Uh, okay, so what do we need to lose? Let's just say, I don't know, active row index. Let's say we lose right away if we don't use the word. So, grace. Uh, let's do buses and now I should lose right or I shouldn't uh, okay so we can 
Where is it? We can just see what is going on right here. That should be wild probability. That's the issue. But I'm guessing right now. Uh, active row index. Let's see that in the debugger one. So if I let this go, okay, now now we lost. So this this is correct. This should work as it's supposed to. Okay. So moving on, we need to update our results UI a little bit. Uh, basically, the button press is very simple, right? We just go and reload the scene. So that shouldn't be any problem there. Um, grab the button. Uh, or I can just, I don't need it. I just need to connect to on press. So signals pressed and this is here. Okay. And we will just do, uh, get three, um, how do you current scene reload? How do you re load current scene? Here it is. Okay. So that basically solves that. Um, let me think what else. We need to change the text of the label. So here should be the word we were supposed to guess. And we also need to change the color here. Okay, so let's grab the reference to the label and let's name this word label grab a reference here and first let's set the label text so word label text is equals to word and then we need to set a proper color. Um, we need to set a proper color for the case where we lose or win. So word label uh, at beam. Let me see how to override this. Uh, Team overrides color. So this is add team color override. And name and the color. So basically the name is font color. Perfect. Thank you for the autocomplete. And then we go with the uh, clear color. Okay. Oh, let's try this again. Uh, oh, we have to hide it, of course. Basically, just so I don't get bothered by this, just call hide when ready. Um, let's see, I am guessing that. And get rid of that. Oh, this is too green. Right, and too small. Um, that's not a problem. Let's see, font sizes, bump it to like 24. Yep. Hello, chat. You can uh, ask me anything if you wanted to know anything about me or what I'm working on now or the future of the channel, here's your chance. Okay, so this should now be bigger. Uh, agile. Nope. Uh, uh, oh. Do we have a bug on our hands? Let's see. Oh, 
Yeah, we do. Let's see what happens on the uh, backspace. Active letter index. We shouldn't change that really because it's confusing, right? Or should we? Mm hmm. Okay. So here's the problem. Backspace should work differently because if I get rid of that and I press a letter, it should point it there. But if I press backspace again, it should remove the next letter. Let's see. So basically, hmm, this is not the active row index because the active row index stays the same. I guess I could do it like this. Yeah, we replaced the wrong letter. Uh, so let's see how to fix that issue. Mm. Basically, what could help is doing something like this so increment first but then we should start the active letter index at minus one right does it make sense but you can still have an error here let's see pressing this a lot of time and it starts here hmm. so meaning here i shouldn't be doing that Now I have to do this to offset this uh, is equal or bigger or equal, right? Right. And now we have fixed that. Yay! No matter the problem, it can always be fixed with a little bit of thinking. Perfect. Uh, so then we validate that. And now this score is just, is wrong. It burns my eyes. So let's go here and let's fix this by making it darker. Maybe pushing it a little bit to the blue. Okay, um, we'll get rid of that information about the amount of moves, or maybe we will pass this. This is kind of cool actually to have. So um, we need to go to results AI and say number of moves, which is going to be a number. Um, oh, it's not a number, it's an int, of course. 
too much time in TypeScript. Perfect. And with that, we can just go to rows and say number of moves is going to be equal to to active row index, right? And in case of losing, we can just pass like minus one and we'll ignore it anyway. So let's see, I will try grace. Now we'll try agile. Oh, on our back. So um, let's see, this is because of the enter press, right? Uh, word check, check word, word to check, validate word on word validation, active letter index, minus one. Hello chat, I'm working on Wordle, in Godot, okay, this works. And this is your chance to ask me anything about programming, being a software developer, about life. Now this is correct, right? Perfect. Uh, so then we can go back to results and get the results label reference and just say res first label text um, is equal to you have one in class number of moves class moves uh, if has won, else you have lost. Does this make sense? Uh, and this has to be stringified. So str number of moves. This does make sense to me. So. Hmm. but I don't like the fact that it can be one move. So let's do moves string. And it's cool, stupid, but okay. Uh, and this is going to be move if number of moves uh, equals one L moves, okay? That will handle that case. Uh, and then we can just do space and moves string. Okay, perfect. So let's test this. Let's say I will guess right away. You have one in zero moves. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's definitely not correct. Um, let's see. That's gonna be, yeah, plus one to count the moves. Okay, and, and then if I do grace and then agile in two moves perfect what else do we have to test we have to test the case where you have lost so going back to the rows controller i can just say you are losing when this is set to what? Uh, 
Gary Ace. Here you have lost. Pay again. And here we have. Yeah, what I could also add, because I'm so crazy when it comes to UI and making the UI readable, uh, we will add something like another level. Put it on top. And we'll just say word to yes. And then I will bump the font size of that to like, I don't know, let's make it 24. No, that's too big. Let's make it 20. And then let's make that single to 42. Perfect. Add this and make this smaller. It doesn't have to be that big. 12? Yeah. Perfect. So we have that done. Uh, I'm thinking, is there anything else? Um, it would be nice to have that random word to guess. So let me see how we can grab this. Uh, Virgil words list. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I just need to like five letter words, right? Uh, can I get this as a JSON, please? I I don't want to. I just don't want to, you know, copy it. Okay, this, this is pretty cool. I will just need to replace uh, every single occurrence of the dash with something else. So let's do this real quick. Um, let's do replace Space with comma space. Can you do this? Perfect. Okay, this this is pretty cool. And now we have a list of lots of words. So Actually, because I don't want to clutter my rose controller, um, I will just add new node and I will, uh, let's say word pool. Let's add a script to it. Scripts word. Cool. and create let's create an array here oh it should be oh okay and hmm yep 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 yep, yep. we have to add the commas here so let's replace every space with space comma, I mean ampersand, and then we need to replace every comma with close comma. How about now? Uh, expected uh, that 
undetermined string at the end. Okay, now it's working. Perfect. So we have all the possible words for the um, for the five little wordle, and then I can just write some function. Let's create a class name first. Word. How do you call this word? Wolf? Get random word, and this is going to be very simple words random. Nice, and then we can use that at the start of our game. So go to Rose Controller. Let's clear all that. Let's get the reference word pool. Uh, where is it? Okay, we have the word pool. Get rid of that and on ready. Sort the word. Or let's call this word to guess. Uh, I don't know what happened there. That was strange. Let's fix it up. Uh, again, let's grab this reference and we have it. Let's change this to word and it's going to start as an empty string. And on ready, we'll say that word is equal to word pool get random word and then we just need to um let's actually change this to word to guess and we will just change it here here and here and now given the fact that the amount of words is so huge you can just see that it has like lots of entries I don't even know what type of game or what type of word are we trying to guess. So yeah, basically that's it. We can try and guess our game. Let's see. Let's start with Agile because this is the best word in the world. And I know that we have L in the correct position. So what else can we guess? This is L. Uh, Help me out, chat. What is the word that we're guessing? Um, Marl. Truly. Okay. 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 So we have why. Um, Ah, oh, this is hard. Pl we have Y and we have L, and the L is in correct spot. So let's try and guess this. Uh, poor, poor, poor. But no idea. Sick, sick, sickly. The Y cannot be first, right? Or can it? Uh, I have no idea. This is the hard one. S 
se sen sen lisas sm let's see this is something something why it's not here it's not here it has to be here so something like this il illo is it how do you say no we have to, to try something else Mm. Any ideas what what the word can be? Mer me me fig be be the just fiddle is that a word fiddle is that a word okay oh doily is this a word other word um miss 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 I, I have no idea what are i don't know enough english words boy oh we have to try something in what can i oh we have to play with o oh Oh, there is a bow, bowly is not a word. Poly, poly. Oh, it's not a word but yeah this is this is pretty much it uh, if if you're <laughs> if you're there uh the game is pretty much finished right Bo bodily it's not a word no No sleep. Damn it. I can't figure out any word. No. No me. Oh, I oh, no, I don't know. Man. Monarch. Damn it. I have to check what possible words there are. Let's see. Would no wordy. We wo er wo wor wars worst woven rat right Br wrong. Nope. 
walk and windy can we do windy no whisk no wine whittle wet worry waste voter this is taking too long let's try again agile okay we know that we have a and i so let's do let's try um uh, okay let's do mm, theory huh okay so you know we have i and r and a there Hmm. Ra radio. Radio. Is this a no, it's not a radio. Ra Ram no, it's not a ramen. The Per part part no, it's not a party. Uh, mirror is that the word? No. So I can be here, air can be here, or can be here. Ma. Ta. Tapir. Isn't that like a. Tapir. First try. Uh, first try. So yeah, basically that's that's it. We have a complete null race. That are all good suggestions. Thank you. But yeah, basically that's it. There we have it. Fully functional type. Yeah, that's an animal. I've been to zoo. <laughs> yeah. Yes we have this uh, basically that's all i have for you today i hope i will be catch you able to catch you on the next live stream um this is how you do wordle in godot uh the whole complete tutorial uh, will be coming soon uh maybe this week maybe the start of next i see how many uh, time I will be able to uh, gather for that that uh, yeah that that has been fun uh, thank you everybody for uh, hanging out for finding time and I'll see you